Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields and today is day 79 of our 100 days of knit stitches. And today's stitch is a basket cable knit stitch. It is similar to a stitch that we have already done a long time ago. Um, but I wanted to show you the beginning of what it looks like. So uh, you wanna cast on a multiples of eight. I have cast on 24 stitches. It looks, uh, it is very wide but once we do start doing the stitch, it's actually gonna shrink up quite a bit. So I just wanted to show you. Before I got started on my repeats, I went ahead and I did a knit one, purl one for two rows. And then rows one, three, and five, I purled and two and four, I knitted. So the front stitches are your even stitches. So now we're ready for row six. Um, I'm using Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn, and I'm using size 11 knitting needles. To get started, we wanna hold our yarn into the front, and we're just gonna do a cable eight into the back, and we're gonna repeat that one stitch three times because we have 24 stitches. So what that means, cable eight into the back, so we're gonna take four stitches and we're gonna slide them off onto our cable needle. We hang them into the back of our work. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take that all the way around the back of those four stitches. I'm gonna knit four stitches off of my knitting needle. And now I'm gonna knit these eight stitches off of my cable or double pointed needle. It's one, there's only four on there. It is, eight stitches is a lot of stitches to cable for this chunky yarn. Got a part caught in there. There we go. But we're gonna repeat that same stitch all the way across. So we're gonna hold the right hand needle into the front. Two, three, four. We're gonna knit the four. So maybe on the previous stitch, I shouldn't have had that yarn in the back. So we're gonna knit these four off of our cable needle or regular needles. And then we're gonna twist it. It's kind of where the twist comes in. And then we're gonna knit these four off of the double pointed needle. And it is tight. So this stitch really is gonna eat up the yarn. So repeat. One, two, three, four. Hang it into the back of our work. Knit those last four off of our knitting needles. And we still wanna keep that a little tight. So we're gonna knit. Yes, so we're knitting those four. And then we're gonna knit the four off of the cable needle. It's actually a little difficult to get to. You have to really squish them together. You don't want that that stitch there to be too loose. Oh, and I lost that guy. That would be a bad day. So I'm gonna just pull that there so I don't lose any more. It's 
really kind of asking a lot of the needles. to do this stitch. It's really tight. All right, so now what to do at this point? I want to put this back in there. So I had tried gluing that but uh, I think it just needs to be melted back inside. So now push that back out and then push that back in. So see how it becomes very tight. So that's definitely, I wanted you guys to see how tight this is going to become. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some knitting and purling rows and then I will show you row 12 so I will be right back with that. So I'm back with row 12. So this row is a little bit different from our row six. We're gonna offset our cables and we're going to flip them to the front. And that's a little long because I ran out of yarn. So we're going to knit the first four stitches which is not part of our repeat. And now we're gonna cable eight into the front. So before we were doing it into the back, of, into the back, this time we're gonna go into the front. So with this leaning to the back, we're going to slip four stitches off. So we're still working with a total of eight stitches. But we're gonna hang this in the front of our work. And then we're gonna knit four off of our needle and then we're gonna knit the four off of the cable needle. And it is tight. I actually like to do the front um, cabling versus the back. I have a harder time with it in the back. And then we're gonna repeat that stitch over and over again, which is only twice in our case. So we're going to slip two stitches or four stitches onto our, our double pointed needle or cable needle. And then, oh, and I'm using a Nirvana a cable needle. I believe it's an ebony. So there's one, two, three, four. I don't want to lose those stitches, so I'm going to pull that, pull my needle through. And then we're going to twist a little bit. And I don't want that to be too loose or too tight because it already is pretty tight. So we're going to knit the four off of our cable needle. And then we're going to knit the last four stitches. So this stitch does use a lot of yarn. It creates a lot of bulk. However, I think that would make like a really neat pillow. It was, it's just extra squishy. So I'm gonna do this a few more times, a couple more times and get a picture of it. So I have a better idea of what it looks like when it's all complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's new stitch and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.